Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 22 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video is going to be a quick one. I'm just going to show you guys how to fix those light shadows that you tend to get at the edges of your walls. And let's say if you have a closed off room and you see like bits of a light leak, I'm going to show you how to fix that. All right, so let's open up Radiant. That way I can show you guys what I mean and how to fix that. Come on, baby. Open up. I got videos to do. All right. All right, cool. Here we go. All right, so I got Radiant open. And let me just uh, drag out a box real quick. That way I can give you guys a good example of what tends to happen to certain people's maps and... How to fix that because it's an ongoing issue most people don't notice it but the ones that do it they get annoyed by it so let me show you guys a quick little preview on that all right here's my here's my room all right let me go to selection csg i'm going to turn this into a quick room there we go now as you can see it's that gray green texture we're going to change that so while everything is selected Hold Alt, hold Shift, press I. Whoops, not I, excuse me. Alt, Shift, and press C. And it'll change everything to a cock texture. All right, cool. All right, so now I'm in my room. Let me uh, texture the floor. Actually, let me texture every part of this room. I'll just give it all the same texture. This will be quick for you guys to see. All right, let me go to the floor and I'll look for a good floor texture. All right, I'm going for this great one. All right, now, right now, um, I am on F8 mode and my lights aren't compiled. So that's why it's giving me that. If I press F7, I go into full light mode and you know, it's easy to see everything. But whenever you wanna render out the lighting, you have to be on F8. F9 is game mode. That's what you're basically gonna see when you're in the game. So it gives you three different views. F7 is full light mode. F8 is um, the mode for you to compile your lights. And F9 is game mode. All right, so we're going to F8. As you can see, everything's dark. All right, so right now I can't compile anything. Usually you would hit the thunderbolt, but you can't compile anything because there's no sun. It actually needs the sun to render out everything even if you're indoors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a sun real quick. So I'm gonna go over to my browser, press B on the keyboard, and I'm gonna go to volume, and I'm gonna go to sun. There we go. I come up with a sun cause he shine like one. There we go. All right, so Wu Tang. All right, hit escape. All right, now it's giving me the thunderbolt. So now I can actually render out the lighting. So let me do that. And as you can see, there are some light leaks right over here, right there, right along this floor to the right. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix that because I've seen a few um, maps and they're having this issue and most likely they don't know how to fix this. So this is why I'm making this video. All right. So what you want to do? is you want to select your sun. Select the sun. All right, now, there could be two ways to fix this. Either you press N on the keyboard and it'll bring up your entity info. Now, the entity info is directed towards the volume sun. That's because we have it selected. Now, if you look over here at light stage, light state one, it says default day. That's fine. Now, it also needs a light stage two. So we're gonna go to light stage two and we're gonna go to the SSI two. Click on this part right over here and go to these three dots, click on that. And we're gonna pick the same one we already have. Of course you can change your, your um, default sky. So if I put it to default day at stage two and press okay. Now recompile the lights. As you can see, it still looks the same. Now, in most cases, it will fix this. Now, second thing to do is to add a light 
and a reflection probe. So we're going to do that right now. Let me try this one more time, just to be sure. Yeah, so it's, it's still messed up. All right, so let's add a light. I'm going to right click on the center. And I already have one of the lights on my um, favorites. So it's right over here. If you don't know how to do that, press B on the keyboard, go to your browser. And if you ever want to put in a light, don't go to build light because uh, there's cases where it'll change up and it'll turn blue and you won't be able to render out. So what you want to do is you want to not go to build for light or probe. Don't ever do that. Go to unsorted. And then you're going to see light here. So just right click it and go to toggle to favorite. That way, whenever you click on the right on the on the right click on the mouse, it'll be under your favorite right over here. These are your favorites under that line. They're all going to show up. So I already have light and reflection probe. So right now I'm going to put in a the light. There it is. Going to pop it right in the middle. Zoom in a little bit. Let me hit down to three. All right, now it's in the center. And let me move this bad boy up. Okay. Now let me bump up the radius so the light rays can hit every corner of the room. So, you know, while the light is selected, it's going to be under Entity Info. It'll say Light. You know, you press N to get that. And we're going to go over to Radius. Where are you, Radius? Don't you hide from me. Show yourself. All right, stops. I'm going to put this down to 7 because it's kind of like the intensity. And Radius. Here we are, Radius. Now I'm going to bump this to, this is a small room. I'd say 350. There we go. All right, now let me compile the lighting again. See if that fixes. No, it does not. All right, so now we're going to put in a reflection probe. Now this helps render out the lighting. So right click. And if you didn't go to browser um, under unsorted, you know, right click on the reflection probe and save it to your favorites. So it'll show up just like mine's is. Click on that. And it's going to give you a little box. This is basically like a volume type of thing where you're going to put this in the center of your room and you're going to stretch it out. And you're going to go to the ends, basically touching the walls. So do that. Do this. There we go. All right. Hit escape. Now let's render out again. All right. Now light stage two. Let's render that out. And bow, there you go. As you can see, it's disappeared. All right, so it, let's say if I go back to light stage one, it'll show up. But light stage two, it's already good to go. Now, let's see. I'm on light stage two. So this is light stage one. Now, let's see what happens when we change the sky. So let's go back to the sun. The sun volume. Well, volume sun. Same shit. And we're going to hit N on the keyboard. That way it'll pop up with this window, just in case you don't have it. Now click on uh, light state one. Default. Hit the three dots. And let's change this one up. Let's put Zombie Sky. There we go. Now, Light Stage 1 is Zombie Sky. Hit Escape. And let me compile the lighting again. And there you have it. No bleeding on the sides with light. And that's how you fix it. Uh, majority of the time, it's either it's a little too bright, so that default sky, you can also dim it down. Let's go back to it, and let's see if we can try that, see how that works. All right, so let me select the sun. Now, as you can see, I have two different light states. When I'm using light state 2, it'll be default day. So if I go over here and go to stage 2, 
it'll show the day, but it's working good now. And if I go over to one, it's nighttime. It's a little darker, but no bleeding on the sides. And with the reflection probe, the light rays and everything are bouncing off of objects in a great way. You know, it really enhances the way your game looks. So that's how you fix the bleeding. Now let's uh, let's change the light state. Let's go back to default day on stage one. All right. Make sure you're on that one. Yep. And compile it again. And as you can see, it's corrected. So, uh, you know, just try all those options and you should be good. So that's how you fit, fix the lighting. If you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.